Hello, good afternoon. This is Decima, aka Shy Girl. I don't know how it comes up. Um, I'm going to be doing a travel edition video. I'm getting ready to do a road trip. Um, we're going to Indianapolis, see some family. So the bag I decided to use is going to be my um, Speedy 35 Bandolier in the Damier Avin. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. Sounds right. <laughs> um, what charms I'm going to be using, of course, my lock on here. But I have a vintage lock from my grandmother's old pieces from the 50s. Um, this is actually because I had an extra ring on the charm and I wanted it, you know, be full. Um, this is a Michael Kors. I like it because it's got that floral look that you would see on the monogram bag. So it kind of, you know, makes it look Louis Vuitton-ish. Um, this actually underneath, I do have my Louis Vuitton luggage tags, but I don't have one that goes with this bag because I decided to buy a Leatherology one to try that out. I've had this three years now and it still looks pristine. Um, it has my initials monogrammed on it and I did make this. Um, the chain used to be, uh, connected to that perfume, the Modern Muse. Um, I took that off and I connected it actually to an older chain. This was off of a piece that was not authentic and it was kind of around the time years ago. I'm 40 now. So this is when I was in my twenties when I wanted to start, um, looking into starting my collection. I went kind of generic at first because it's so expensive. I thought, Oh, you know, I don't want to spend money on something that I'm not going to like. So I started off with the generic pieces. Um, of course now I'm in my forties. I now know when I purchase it, it's an investment. Um, I'm a little obsessed, so, but that's all about the bag that I can think of. If you have any questions, um, leave me a comment. Also to get this channel up and going, you know, like subscribe, share, whatever you you want to do, um, especially I do take um, and read the comments um, if there's criticism. Of course, I'm going to take it all into consideration. This is all brand new to me, so I want to, you know, I want to get this up and going. So, um, okay, the first piece I put in, I don't know the name of this piece. When I originally was looking for something similar to this look, um, I was looking at, it starts with a K, I can't remember. I'm not good with my SLGs, but... Um, it was a three-piece set, but I didn't really care to need the two little pieces because I already had SLGs for that kind of, you know, what I would use those for. Um, I like to use my pieces. I don't baby them. If I'm going to spend the money on them, I'm going to use them. I baby them in the sense of I do take care of them, but um, I do use my pieces. <laughs> So this, I'm not going to open. It does have some information I didn't think about. I should have folded down. But I carry receipts in here. I carry my receipts for my Louis Vuitton pieces. Because I find sometimes when I'm on road trips or vacation, I buy new pieces. And, of course, the rule with me is I get new, I get rid of something. I, You know, one for another. Um, it doesn't have to exactly be a Louis Vuitton piece. It could be one of my Michael Kors or um, coach or just anything I have. One comes in, one goes out. So, um, if you know what this is called, uh, I know it starts with a K. I cannot, it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't think of it, but, or no, the other one starts with a K. I don't know what this one's actually called at all. I, I spaced it out over the time. So, um, yeah, it's really good though. I, so all my receipts, um, bill information's in here. Um, any important paperwork I need on the road, insurance information. Um, also, I, like I said, I keep my receipts for my Louis Vuitton stuff just in case, uh, so I can prove the pieces. So, um, this will go into the bag. It'll go all the way to the back. And like I said with this bag, I'm not using an organizer. I have enough stuff in here that once it's all in here, it's going to make this bag look very structured. So I'm not, I'm not too into the organizer anyways. I like the sag look when I'm not carrying a lot. Even with the 35, it just, it's so classic looking to me. I uh, just remember seeing my grandmother, you know, she had her piece and it was just a classic look. So I, I do like that sag look, especially when the bag starts to soften up more. And I just, it's 
to me, that's just classic, <laughs> classy, classy. All right. So the next piece that's going to go in will be my PM, um, cosmetic case. This thing I've had for years, it's, it's starting to, or I'm going to have to figure out what to do with it. It's, it's coming apart at the seams, but I do not zip it all the way when it's full. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I do have a lot of um, sample products from Ipsy that I do carry with me. Um, the majority of my makeup is mostly eye makeup, um, lotions. I use a lot of lotions. I'm 40. I probably could use foundation. I don't like to. I like to try to keep my skin natural and clean and, you know, so um, you'll see some concoctions that I came up with, <laughs> but no foundation in here. Maybe some concealer. First thing I have is, yes, this was from Ipsy. This is gorgeous. This blush is just gorgeous. Um, this is the brand of it. I i don't think I've ever heard of this brand, but, you know, this is a rose all day. It is gorgeous. I would probably repurchase that in the, the full size. Um, so when I do wear that, uh, this is another Ipsy. I like to tone it down sometimes a little bit because I like that natural look. Uh, it can be a, a little overwhelming, the color. So I just tone it down with a little highlight, and they work really good together. Um, I do not... I have a really beautiful Chanel brush just like this with the lid, and it's so bulky and chunky. I can't use it in this bag. It makes me sad because I would love to carry it with me. But I did find this at um, TJ Maxx and I don't even think it has a brand name it's just kind of generic but it works good I love my Chanel though it is such a soft brush I rather use it but that fits better I could fit more into my bag um so I don't wear this very often I've had this years this is more of a vintage kind of Estee Lauder um powder I've hit pan on it I don't know I'm going to have to look to where to repurchase uh, it. This does come out and you can replace it. Uh, Sephora used to carry it, but I haven't seen it there lately. They've used to carry a lot of things I like that are not there lately. So, um, yeah, I'll, but when I do use it, it's more for touch-ups kind of to oily areas or, you know, if anything just looks like it needs a little coverage, that's what that's for. So before I put on my makeup, um, I have a, a lotion that I made. Actually, this used to be primer. I just used the container. But um, it's got a rose elixir. It's got um, some vitamin C oil, some uh, vitamin E oils, and just really good moisturizing stuff for my skin. I like to put on to kind of give that, that really nice glow to your skin and, you know, nice, fresh, kind of healthy look. So... What moisturizer I do like to use is um, my daughter loves Dr. Pimple Popper, and she got a set of stuff from her, and this was one of them that she actually gave to me because um, she got two moisturizers, so this is really good. I, I do like it, and I do like my Soap and Glory Youth. Um, that's a really good moisturizer, too, but I like moisture, you know, I don't want the oil free or you know I just as long as it has SPF in it I'm I'm a happy camper um this is another Ipsy Tarte concealer I love this this is really good for under my eyes I'm narcoleptic so I do sleep a lot during the day I tend to be more tired during the day and at night I end up having issues with my sleep like almost insomnia so sometimes I get dark circles so that's really good to kind of hide that um Milk Mascara, which is another Ipsy. You're going to see a lot of Ipsy's in here. I use that under my Better Than Sex. And they work really good together, actually. It's kind of like, that is like my, my primer to this. <laughs> so, um, so this is kind of my holy grail. This isn't a foundation, no. It is primer mixed with, if you've ever seen the YSL blur it's kind of a tinted a pink so i hit pan on that but i took out the rest of what i could mixed it with a primer and this is really good that's like my my way of having foundation this is my foundation <laughs> 
so it does give you a nice clean um clear look so it's yeah i love it um eyeshadow chanel i love my chanel this eyeshadow is gorgeous i can use it in the day these three and then at night this one you know just kind of night and night time it up when i'm ready to do something at night so love that and um here's the name of that I don't want to butcher anything, so I'm not even going to say it even if I think I can. So here's a little CC cream. It's a, another one of those, um, what am I trying to think? Concealer. And that came in Ipsy. Bobbi Brown. It is my eyebrow pencil. And this side, it's Espresso. So this is the brush side. And... This is the pencil side. And I love this. After all of the brow stuff I've been through, I've even had my brows done. Um, the microblading. And I still have to color my brows in. They just, I have naturally light, thin brows. So I've tried everything. You'll see I have some other sample brow stuff in here that I've used. And Bobbi Brown. I just always go back to it. That and I have a powder that I like to use. Okay, so there's a sponge for my primers and concealers. Um, I use this for my um, eyeshadow. Um, oh, I popped off. Sorry, my hand's in the camera. I'm trying to... Sorry about that. My eyeliner, it's in a... A brown color. I'm trying to. I don't know why my phone won't focus, but it's in coffee. Um, there's another Ipsy I've tried. It's not too bad. Um, it's a backup just in case anything ever happens to my other brow pencils, and it's similar to the Bobbi Brown in the way it's the applicator is. So, yeah, I keep it just because it's small. I can, and it's a good backup, you know. Um, this is really good. This is from Benefits. It's a concealer, and you know they're they're tough with their makeup. They make it they make it tough, heavy duty makeup. But um, it's nice for the days I do have a little, really bad bags, not bags, dark circles is what I get. And it also, I mean, like it's good coverage for uh, any blemishes. But it one's a concealer, and the other one's more like the highlight. So, and I'm not really smarts with all that stuff. But I just like to use it for if I need it, heavy duty coverage under the eyes or a blemish. Let's see. Um, um, here's the other one I was talking about, my powders. I've had this for years and it still looks like it's brand new. But there's four different types of shades of powder um, for your eyebrows. I use a couple of them, but I also like to use that on my bottom lash. And I smudge it in with um, with a couple little tools I have here. I have these. Um, so I, I put it on with this, and I kind of smudge it with this, and it kind of gives it that smoky eye look. So, yeah. Um, here's another brown. I think I'm going to give this to my daughter because she's been really... It's another sample from Etsy. It's Benefits, and it's their brow... Uh, it, it it has a little tiny mascara type tip, but yeah, I'm I'm not too fond of it. I'm not gonna lie and say I am. I'm I'm not fond of it at all. Um, God, I am 40 years old. I have had these tweezers since I started tweezing. I probably since I was 14. I tweeze so much that now I have to get microblade because back when I was younger, the thinner eyebrows were the the end thing to have. <laughs> So, those are the best tweezers. I cannot use any other tweezer. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, bad. Um, this is really cute. It's actually kind of a fun piece. My friend got this off of Wish, and I, she only paid a dollar. But one side, oh, one side has a little kind of a star shape that you can put on, you know, so you're going out for the night, having fun on, I don't know, even Halloween. But even just going to a club or something, which I don't really often do. But um, 
it, yeah, you could put a little star on the side of your eye. And then on the other side of it, if I can get this open. Okay, maybe not. Oh, yeah. It is a liquid liner. So it's really nice. Um, I enjoy this. I could not believe she only got it for a dollar. It, it's a really nice piece. Um, yeah. A pencil sharpener. I take this one in my makeup bag because it has a little where all the chippings go. It's nice. Then I don't have to worry about it getting all over my bag. And one more. My Revlon reusable, um, I think that you wash these and reuse them. I don't use it too often. I haven't got my nails done in so long. I need to go get a manicure, but, um, just in case I break a nail or something, I have that. And the last thing is a towelette. In case of emergencies, you just want to take your makeup off and you're not around a sink. Perfect. So I always carry that. I just refill it when I need to. So I'm going to put all that back in here and show you where that goes. And um, it will zip the bag. The only problem I have, though, is um, because of my Chanel eyeshadow, I think that's really the bulk of it, it will distort um, distort the, the shape of it. So, yeah, we do not zip it. I will zip it just enough to keep everything kind of in there. So, this is the next piece. This is going to be right up against that envelope. So, you see that? We have plenty of room in there still. All right. The next piece I like to have on me at all times in every bag is my mini push-up. And the reason I like to have this at all times is because this is actually a second bag for me. So, if I don't want to carry the big bag, I just dump everything out of here and I can carry this little bag. It does not fit my phone. I do have a big Note 9 Samson, um, but that's okay. I mean, my phone will fit in there. I just can't fit a lot of other things in there. So, but um, yeah, so this is nice to have on me. Um, Kate Spade, battery charger. I could get a couple charges out of this. Um, I cannot use the cord that came with it. Oh, I got some of that. Look at how funny. I got one of the stars stamped on me. Um, that cannot use the cord that came with it. Uh, it does not fit to the Note 9. The Note 9 does not have the standard charger. So I just always have to carry my cord, which, you know, no no big deal. I carry my charger everywhere. I need to get in a secondary one. Um, these are for my Ray-Bans. I do carry my Ray-Bans in the Louis Vuitton case. And I have a Michael Kors one, too, but I carry, I have some Michael Kors Silver avi Aviators, but I carry those in the Ray-Ban case. So those are in my car. I do carry lighters just in case of emergency. I use, I'm an ex-smoker. Um, I do smoke a uh, Juul. That's how I had to, that's what got me to quit smoking. So it's nice to have, especially with us traveling, we'll be using a rental car. We don't like to wear and tear our car. I can't, of course, you can't smoke in there even if I did smoke, but this is nice because I can use this. Um, hair bows, these bubble hair, I love these things. I have uh, baby fine hair, a lot of it, but baby fine, and these things are wonderful. It, it's just nice to have these for my hair. They work really good in there. Um, scissors, they're just folded up right now. Actually, I have two pairs of scissors. Um, nail clipper. Bobby pants. Um, I got this at Charming Charlie's. It's a, you guys know what this is if you have a Louis Vuitton or any nice luxury bag. It's a bag holder you put on the side of the table and it will hold your bag so it's not on the floor. Never put your bag on the floor. It's bad luck anyways. <laughs> Um, I have another pair of tweezers. Uh, if I ever lose mine, I always have a backup pair. That was another bobble. These were actually my first purse scissors ever. Um, I'm an agenda 
person. I love my agenda. I'm probably not as bad as I used to be. I used to carry my stuff with me to work. And when I had downtime, I would literally just um, decorate my agenda. So, all right. So that's it for that. I'm going to put all that back in here. And this will also go in my purse. And I'll show you how that goes. This video might be longer than I thought. <laughs> so, okay. There's that. So, this will actually go right next to the makeup bag. And it's, see how they're all stacking? Really nice. So, okay. Next thing is this. So, actually, um, this will go on the D-ring. Um, this is not authentic. Uh, the authentic one, I can't really stuff as good as this one. I've had this thing for years. This is one of my first fake things I got, if I can remember correctly. And it's held up probably 20 years. It, yeah. <laughs> so the first thing I have in there is a hairbrush. Um, I do have the the detangling hairbrush that has a little case on it. It makes my hair staticky. Maybe it's because I have baby fine hair, but this is the only thing I can use pocket purse kind of size wise. And I showed you this. Um, this is my Holy Grail body sprays. I love to put perfume on and body spray. And I love, I just love Soap and Glory. It is so classy and classic and it, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's made for women. I love it. I do have a subscription to, uh, what's it called? Um, Scentbird. So here's one of my scents. Um, what I have in there right now is, um, I think it's Kat Von D. Yeah, Kat Von D. I love Scentbird. I really do. Um, it's worth it. I, it really is. I usually can go through one bottle in a month, but I think I got in my Brit, my Burberry Brit. And, um, that's why I didn't finish this up because I was using that. Oh, you know what? Actually, this is Burberry Brit. I did finish this up, but I wanted to carry my Brit with me. And so I filled this up with the Burberry Brit so I can use it in there if I get done with this, you know, or if I just want to mix it up. So, um, I got some samples. I really haven't tried these. So princess by, yeah, I'm not even going to try to butcher that. It's probably easy and I'll butcher it still. Um, let me look for that other sample. Okay. And then I've got, I don't know. Um, cocoa wood, wood, something, uh, woods, cocoa woods. I don't know. I have not tried these yet, so I'll have to let you know. Um, so as I was trying to find those, some other things were falling out. This is from e.l.f. Uh, I used to carry an Estee Lauder lip palette. But um, I don't now, but I do use this for my mat. Um, I'll show you. I don't like putting my fingers into the little tubs. This is called Pinkfish. So I do use it for this. Um, I also use it for my Christian Dijon. I'm, I can't even talk. Um, Cream de Rose. I love this stuff. Oh, I love that stuff. That's probably like my fourth time buying that. Um, I do have a mirror, which is from Michael Kors's things beat up, <laughs> but it is a two, one magnifying side and one, um, regular side. I don't want to be on camera, so I'm not going to show you. Um, this is for your cuticles. I love this stuff. I love their lotion. I used to buy the $30 big one. That's how obsessed I was. And I was so upset. I went to Sephora a couple weeks back and they do not have them no more. So I don't know where to get them. I mean, I know you could probably order it offline, but 
I was just really hurt feelings about it. I was like, what am I supposed to do now? I mean, I do use my Soap and Glory, but this one, if I had to pick between my Soap and Glory lotion and that one, yeah, it would have been that one. So, I will have to figure out a new spot to buy it because I'm impatient when it comes to ordering stuff offline. I want to have it right then and there. So, sometimes I, I will hunt down where I can buy it before I have to order it. So, um, so all that's back in here. So, the good thing about this is um, it has a little D-ring on it, too. And I bought this a while back for something else. I can't remember what I bought it for. But um, I do clip this onto the D-ring in my bag. So... Um, we're going to put that in there. And then I'm going to clip that onto my D-ring. And you know, I mean, it's not necessary that it has to clip there. I just like the look of it, really. It's, yeah, I if it's something I need to clip there, I'd rather clip a wallet so nobody could take it. But it's almost just for the look of it. And to be able to use my chain, I mean... Why not? All right, next thing that goes in there is my wallet. Um, I do have some pieces. I have the, the small coin zippy wallet. I have an Emily and a Sarah. The only reason I just, I, I'm so obsessed with this Michael Kors. For one, it does match the bag pretty good. I mean, come on now. But I love Michael Kors. Um, he was the first designer stuff I could afford to get when I started getting stuff. Um... I've had this wallet forever. It's a really soft now. Um, it's got two, four card holding spots, cash. I mean, it's just your typical wallet. I don't know why I cannot, every time I switch to a different wallet, I, something always draws me back to this wallet. I think it's just easy and functional for me. So I am going to put that right there. And that is all that's going to fit. So basically we have the envelope the makeup bag, the pochette, the Michael Kors wallet, and my Louis Vuitton. I don't even know what to call it because it's really not Louis Vuitton, but um, my replica. So all that's in there, and that's all that's going to fit on this side. So the next thing I'm going to put in my bag will be um, my Leatherology pen case. And what I have in here is some of my favorite pens. Um, I just need backups for my agenda or anything. So I've got those two. Can you believe this pen cost $10? I was, I, I know I'm the dummy who bought it, but I just was, my husband was even like, really, you're going to buy that $10? <laughs> um, I do like the way they write their gel pens. Um, and these are, I have a PM agenda, so... I do carry some smaller ones. This one is that zebra. You pull it and it comes in, comes out like a full pen. And then you just push it back down. It's a little pen again. Um, this was actually a coach pen. It went to an old uh, coach address book I had. And this is a um, short, is that, I can't say his name. I, I know it. And sometimes I say it and sometimes I butcher it. So, but this is beautiful. I love the Tiffany blue. Um, before I, I'll kind of tell you, I wanted a Tiffany's pen, agenda pen so bad. And at the time I just couldn't see myself paying, you know, a hundred bucks for the pen used. So this is what I got instead. But you know what? The silver kind of threw me off because of course the I have the PM monogram and it's, you know, it's gold. And, um, so because of the silver of the pen, it threw me off and I ended up getting the Tiffany's pen. So, yeah, but it's nice to have, I mean, it's good for my collection. I think it's beautiful pen, so I wouldn't change anything about what I did. So let me get these in here. Now this, um, is the small pen holder. 
so you can actually get some that fit more. Um, this fits, so I have three large regular size pins and then four of the small pins in here. And it's still kind of, you know, still a little nice. It's a soft leather, so I mean, just got to be careful not to stretch it. So I'm going to put that all the way to the side. And I'm going to lay it flat back there like that. And I'm going to um, put my agenda like almost on top of it. I'll show you how I do that. But here's my agenda. Yes, I do have another pen kind of in the card slot there. You know what? I'm never going to sell this thing. The only way I would get rid of it is if it was completely damaged. So me doing this to it. It's mine. I'm going to use it the way I want to use it. I'm, it makes me happy to open it up and know I have a full-size pen in there. I don't have to always use my Tiffany. Um, I love it. I just love it. It fits perfect. Um, I got some little sticky notes, some sticky notes here. This is mostly just like my... I don't keep the weeklies. I only keep monthly in there. And then um, I have notes that I've kind of made into to-do sheets by putting little circles on them. And then I have a note, this is more like doctor's notes and important information in there. Um, oh, I got a, I got one of those Polaroid cameras for Christmas for my daughters. So I keep a picture of my, my husband, my two daughters, and my grandbaby in there. My first grandbaby. Um, some stickers back here. And my beautiful Tiffany's pen. So this is chunky. I love chunky planners. So no matter if it was Louis Vuitton or a Filofax, it was going to end up being used good. <laughs> so this is actually going to go back on top of that pen case out of the way because I do not want it to get corner scratch or any of that stuff. So actually, oh, I just fell. Once I stack my other SLGs in there, it will kind of hold that up. So that's... It's just, it's kind of normal spot. All right, next. So this is usually on top of everything. I can still put it in there. This is the MM. Um, uh, case for your sunglasses or your glasses. And these are my Ray-Bans. I am so excited about these. I, I love my Michael Kors Aviator, so don't get me wrong. I've always wanted some Ray-Bans, but the style I wanted was always around the two, two, almost 300 mark. Um, one day I go into Nordstrom's Rack, and I could not believe these fit me and look so good on me. They weren't the style I was usually going after, um, and they were only $34. I was in love. I could not believe... I found them brand new, $34 in, in Nordstrom's Rack. They give you the case, all the stuff that goes with it. Let me see if I can get, I don't know what these are called or if they even have a name. I'm going to try to get you that code. There you go. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. I just drank coffee not too long ago. Plus, on top of my narcolepsy medicine, it can make me a little shaky. So, Okay. I'm going to put these back in here. Or they can be a little tough getting in there, but over the last month, I think I've gotten it to where now it works. Um, so these I will lay actually on top of everything on this one side because I always go for those when I drive especially. So, all right. Next, my little SLGs. So this is a newer piece. Um, I bought it from someone. She never used it. She just, it was always in a box. It's a whoopity or something. I don't even know. See, I, I can't say these names. You'll laugh at me. Um, I do keep um, my narcolepsy medicine. Um, uh, Tylenol. Uh, Vicks nose uh, inhaler. This is the cutest thing I've ever, I seen someone else do this. I can't remember who, but it is a Chanel. She does it with old lipsticks. 
containers. She'll clean them out and make them into a little pill. This was actually an old perfume, the bottle part that was in here. I misplaced it somewhere. And so I just used it for cold pills. Sudafeds are in there. Uh oh, grandbaby crying. Um, I have eye drops. Uh oh, I'm dropping things. <laughs> so, oh, no, this is mouth drops. Um, and some eye drops. Um, And then I keep wet ones in here, wet wipes, um, some glass cleaners, um, my prescription tags off the bottles because I do put them in smaller containers and you just never know, you could get pulled over and a police officer wants to look at your purse. <laughs> but you should always keep your, your prescriptions on you, at least the tags so that they know what's, if they're not in the normal bottle. Um, and that's about it. Oh, I have some sunscreen samples in there. So this is, uh, the, um, it's just really handy. It's just kind of like my, my emergency kit, I guess you can say. So that will go back here. And if it's perfect, I just got to go check on my grandbaby. Oh, you're so pretty. You want to say hi to the camera, pretty girl? You was a pretty girl. It was grandma's baby girl. I love you. I love you so much. That is my first grandbaby. She is gorgeous. I'm I'm in love with her and she knows it. She's got me wrapped around her finger. All right. So this is the cutest stinking thing I've ever seen. Um, I bought this off of Poshmark and it's actually a it's coach, of course. Um let me see if I can open it. But it's for your contact lenses um i just carry new ones in there if i ever lose one but you can carry the contact case in there and it's got a little mirror i did break that mirror i i don't know how i did it it was not broken when i got it um i'm thinking it was one of these days i left my purse in the trunk we went to cripple creek up at cripple creek creek up in the mountains to gamble and I didn't want to take my big purse. We locked it in the trunk and I think it just got too cold and it broke or I, I, that's the only thing I could think of. So, so that, that's kind of gonna just sit next to that. My next is my, um, six. These are just, uh, the pool key, my extra keys to my kids' houses, um, my speedy keys, my laundry room key. Well, no, that's not a laundry room. I have a laundry room. It's uh, the workout room in the pool. And then, um, so it's just uh, my extra keys. I don't want just all my key ring. i rather have in there. Um, and so that goes in there. I really don't even need to take that on my trip. I just rather, I feel safe when I always have it. I just always have it with me. So here is my coin purse um so this used to kind of hang on my d-ring but it started just getting too heavy i don't keep no change but quarters in here i feel like i use quarters the most if it's not going to a machine to get a soda it's to the car wash or you know i just quarters seem to be used most so the rest of them i put in my grandbaby's piggy bank and she's been collecting all the change so this will kind of lean up against that the key rings okay and so there's where we are right now very organized I am OCD so it's gonna be very organized um this is I'm not gonna open it but it's the card holder it's got insurance cards in it medical um, so I do yeah I need to keep that with me um, and you've seen this. This is my monogram leatherology uh, tissue holder. It comes in many different colors, so check that out if you're interested. Um, I keep business cards in this key fob uh, one. Any for my doctors or anything. I am. I keep the chain in there too, just because. Uh, 
trying to save it from discoloring or anything. I mean, I'm not using it, so might as well keep it in there safe. But yeah, it's just all business cards for any businesses I don't have the numbers to that most likely I just carry the card for. It's not a daily call. <laughs> um, so this. I've shown this before in a Michael Kors bag that I did a What's in My Bag. I have no idea what this is. I've tried looking for it. Um, it came up passport holder, but the passport holders didn't have a pin holder. So here's a zebra pin that I bought that fits it perfect. Actually, my um, Tiffany pin fits it perfect too. And what I use this for is it's a to-do, like if I have grocery lists and stuff, I will write them in here. And actually, the only book I could find to fit in here was from Leatherology, actually. And they sell these little notebooks. So you can get them monogrammed or whatever. But um, yeah, they sell them. And I keep a couple sticky notes just in case I need to jot something real quick. But um, And some paper clips. But yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, I do put a full-size pen in there. But the only thing I can find that was similar to it is um, the passport holder. So, I mean, if anybody has any idea or knows exactly what it is or the age of it, I mean, is it something they discontinued making? Yeah, let me know. I, I'm interested. If I have the name, I could probably look it up better. Um, so that goes in there because I, I have ideas all the time running through my head that I have to get out of my head, and those are the best place to put it sometimes, too. Um, this is I Love Hobo. It's the only hobo piece I own, but I love that it's, it has two slots up here. This one, I keep my jewelry. Um, I keep my rosary in here, my grandmother's. Um, it's actually been blessed by the Pope. It's from Italy. Um, any extra jewelry I would need on the road, I keep in there, especially the real stuff. I just need to keep close to me. This side, I keep my headphones and extra cushions for the headphones and just anything that has to do with the phone that are little, you know, electronic things. I, I keep those in there. And then under here you have an extra little kind of not secret pocket cause that's a zipper, but you can actually, I'm trying to fit more stuff in there right now. It's just got my chakra list of, um, <laughs> geez. Sorry about that. The rocks that I do collect, um, I do get chakra rocks and I keep some of them on me and sometimes I forget which color is which or what they do. So I just keep a list of how that works in here. So, um, so yeah, now this, we're going to fit to the way back and that's in there. Okay, good. Next thing that's going in there is my soap and glory, the body spray. And I put that here. They'll be in the middle. And the body butter. I love this stuff. Okay, so that's in the middle. Um, here's all the lipsticks I decided I was going to bring. I might go through these later again. Um, I'm not going to swatch these because my video is getting really long. But um, this one is a really pretty pink by Estee Lauder. Um, sorry, they're not coming up. I don't want my video to be too long. So, okay, it's just trust me. So that's a pink. <laughs> um, this is a really pretty matte. This came at Twisted Kisses. It came actually in the Ipsy bag. Um, uh, the color is Kiss Me Twice. This is a YSL in the number, of course, it rubbed off. I think this is the number eight or ten but I don't know why I can't see it mm -hmm. yeah but it's a I'll show you the color real quick it's in kind of a I don't know it kind of looks nudie on me but it's really pretty I love YSL stuff I love their formula their their lipsticks um this is bare minerals and it is their gen nude or something like that and it's in the color must have um, this is a chub, chub stick from Clinique and it's a baby tint. It actually changes with the color of, 
um, the warmth of your skin. So it kind of turns like a mild to, to bright pink kind of. It's kind of like a baby pink on me. So that's really nice to have if you just want to be natural. Um, I don't really wear lip liners too often, but when I do, I wear, there's two. I wear one that's a Milani, which I'm not carrying with me, and it's in the nude color. And this one is from NYX, and it is called Nude Pink. So, um, I love this lip gloss, DLS. And it is in the color, wow, Nude Beach. Yeah, yeah, you see there's a thing. I have a lot of nudes and pinks. <laughs> this is Chanel. And um, sorry it's not focusing. It's a 184. And it's kind of just like a pinky gloss. It's more like make your lips look natural. Um... Here is a Lancome. I am so sorry this is not focusing. Here it goes. And this is in the shade. I'm just going to tell you. Um, 308. And this is really pretty. Um, it's kind of a weird formula. I'm not used to it. But it's not sticky. It's not drying. But when it goes on, it um, it's very lasting. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's a different formula than I've ever used in any of my lipsticks. So that, that goes in there too. But I'm going to charge that. And the last thing, but not the least, I mean, well, hopefully, is... Um, this is my keys. I probably will not, I don't know if I'm taking them with me or not or just leaving them, you know, but um, this is my hand sanitizer I keep on here. And on the hand sanitizer, I keep a little of the Modern Muse. I love this stuff. It just is kind of like a, a oily gel you just rub on your wrist or your neck. Um, the only thing I keep on these key-wise is my vehicle keys and my door keys. Um... I do have an LV. I like having this on my black tote, but when I'm not using a tote, I just love to show off my keychain. So I do keep it on here. Um, I use this from a Michael Kors, an old continental wallet, like a jet set. And it is like just the best thing to have. I have this color. I have a light tan that looks almost like the Vachetta. And I have a black. So I actually can change this to mix up with my bags because those are all the colors I use of the bags. And last but not least is, um, this is a coach keychain. It was actually broken not too long ago. It got caught into the cart at Walmart and I snagged it and it ripped off. So I actually just kind of stuck it onto the keychain. So I didn't want to, it's so cute. I just didn't want to like not be able to use it. So I kind of figured out a way and I just throw that in there and that is done so I want to show you the structure of this bag and how it looks so you can see that it looks more like it's got better structure now and honestly I'm done 40 minutes later but that is what I am going to carry in my travel so I hope everybody enjoys my video. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.